Welcome everyone to the Bobcat Coaches Corner. My name is Mitch Baston. I'm the Assistant Sports Information Director here at West Virginia Wesleyan College. Pleased today to be joined by head men's and women's swim coach Mark Ziak. Coach Ziak, good to have you on the show. Thanks for having me as always, Mitch. It's a pleasure. Um, your swim teams traveled down to Charlotte, North Carolina. They participated in the Bluegrass Mountain Conference Championship uh, this past weekend. It was your season finale. Um, overall, sort of. <laughs> sort of, sort of. We'll get to that later. Yeah. But uh, uh, your, your teams performed well. Uh, the men recorded 212 points over the course of the four-day event, finished in uh, seventh place out of 13 teams with uh, host Wingate University winning the, uh, the championship. The women's team finished with 134 points. That placed them ninth out of 14 teams. Uh, Tampa University took the championship there. Uh, really quick, can you just kind of tell me about how the meet went uh, as far as the team aspect? Yeah, it might not be quick, but I'll tell you about it because uh, <laughs> I got a lot to talk about. As a team, um, last year, you know, I was a little unhappy with our results, uh, but this end, so kind of, you know, wanted to change some things so we could get better this year, and it worked out. Uh, you know, the, the kids swam faster than they ever have during my tenure here, and uh, like you said, we set multiple uh, school records, and uh, pretty much every swimmer had a lifetime best time um, except maybe one or two, and so that's, uh, those are also the results I look for. Yeah, you know, it's great to have those records, but as a, as a team, are we getting faster? And throughout the course of the weekend, our Wesleyan swimmers, they're uh, beating their C times in the prelims, then when those swimmers that were in finals, they beat their prelims times again. And, you know, that's just a joy to watch as a coach when they, you know, keep getting faster. And, you know, when they dive in the water and I see the Wesleyan swimmers out ahead, you know, rather than behind. It shows me that, you know, they were committed all year. I kept talking all year about how uh, from the very outset of the season in September, uh, I could sense that it was a, you know, new new feeling and they were, you know, kind of recommitting themselves. And it was a different year and it started out that way and ended that way. And it's nice to see us, uh, you know, experience that, um, you know, from start to finish. Um, I'm gonna, I will talk to, take some time here to talk about each one of my swimmers because I, you know, because I want to. So you can no sit doubt. back and relax. Uh, <laughs> All right. Those that are watching at home, you know, this may take a while, but, uh, you know, I care about my swimmers. So um, just start here. Rachel Baylor, freshman. Uh, she set the uh, best times in her breaststroke and her IM. Um, her 200 breaststroke was a little, you know, weak, but we made some changes and she got better in finals. Uh, Thomas Bartleman uh, set best times in all of his events. Uh, and Butterfly is, uh, you know, Constellation finalist in that in the 200 freestyle. As a member of the couple of relays that broke some records, and he got a couple of uh, national cuts as well. Uh, Steve Bekanich uh, is a freshman, uh, did a great job in his backstroke and on IM events. He had a chance to swim the 400 IM uh, in the final session in the evening. Sam Connor, uh, big time drops in his uh, his 200 free and his 100 free as well, and was ecstatic when he got out of the water. Logan Davis Jr. Uh, we got him in a couple of new events, the, some more distance events, and uh, got him some experience there. Also, his 100 and 200 freestyles were much improved. Uh, dropped two and a, over two seconds since 200 freestyle. Uh, Jeff Dye uh, set a new school record in the 200 freestyle, 143.00. Uh, he was a finalist in that and the 500 free as well. Uh, swam on uh, multiple relays. Has a shot at going to nationals. He got a couple. He got two nationals cuts as well. Um, Samantha Free, she uh, was a final. She finished second in the 200 free. She finished fourth in the 100 back. Both those were new school records, um, and she was. I think she placed uh, 15th in the 100 free as well, and anchored all of our all of our women's relays. Stephanie Goldbeck was a finalist in the 100 breaststroke. Uh, helped out our medley relays and our sprint freestyle relays. Sean Greer uh, had a couple of nice swims in the butterfly, was real happy with his 200 butterfly in the evening session. He was able to drop uh, almost a second from his uh, prelims time. Uh, Maria Guillen uh, swim some backstroke again for us this year. Uh, first time to do that, uh, happy with those results um, and helped out our, relay, our medley relays in butterfly and freestyle. Natalie Howard, uh, she uh, tried out a new event this year, the 500 Freestyle, dropped a couple of seconds from that, and we hope to get her going to better place next year. Uh, Kara Janice, our lone senior woman. Am I boring you yet? No. Okay. Fine. Good. Uh, Kara Janice, lone uh, senior uh, woman. Uh, she's had a couple of injuries. She was a former uh, com conference champion 
placed top three in a couple of events her freshman year. Uh, had to deal with some uh, shoulder injuries, but I'm proud of her sticking with it and uh, seeing it through to her end. Uh, she had some nice swims in the IM and the 200 butterfly and helped out on uh, relay here and there for us, uh, particularly the last day. Ashley Kirkhart, Kirkhart had a couple nice backstroke swims and uh, set new, new best time in the 400 IM as well. Uh, Hope Lima, uh, distance girl, I think she set best times in her 1,000, her mile, and the 400 IM. Almost got under five minutes in that 4 a.m. and I'm looking forward to seeing that next year. Travis McCann, uh, it was usually an im -er for us, but uh, swam some breaststroke for the first time uh, in his career and uh, he went a 101 low, which is real, uh, real good for him. Trying to get him under a minute for next year would be fantastic. Cody Nichols, lone senior guy. I'm proud of that kid. Uh, pretty much every time he dove in the water, set a new lifetime uh, best. And it's nice to see your seniors uh, do that in all the distance events. Uh, Ian Pellerin Jr. Um, finished seventh in the 100 freestyle, fourth in the 100 backstroke, narrowly missed the school record by .03 in the 100 backstroke. Um, we're on a couple of our school record relays and has a couple of NCAA cuts as well. Ethan Rapking, uh, freshman, uh, he saw big drops in all of his freestyle events. Uh, you know, he didn't train a whole lot before college, and the college training has paid off. It's great to see him smiling in the pool. Will Squires uh, set a total of four new school records, placed third in the 50 freestyle, uh, and uh, led off our 400 relay in school record time, and helped out our other relays as well. And also had a big drop in his 200 freestyle, which is uh, an event uh, I've been trying to get him to swim a little more competitively. I'd like to see that. Uh, Nick Torek, freshman out of Canada, uh, swam great in the IMs and the 200 butterfly. We still got, got him and swim some backstroke too as well, which is a new event, and uh, got some experience in the mile. So hope I didn't bore you guys, but those are my kids, and I'm proud of each and every one of them. Yeah, it was definitely a great way to cap off the season for the yeah, team. Yeah, it was. Um, overall, you guys had nine school records and seven events. Right. So, uh, as a um, as a coach, I'll you know we we had seven events, uh, but it's a couple of those we broke twice. So I'll count those as nine. You can disagree with me, but that's the way it is. And then you also had the uh, four hundred yard freestyle relay team for the guys. Yeah. Uh, Ian Perlin, is that how you pronounce it? Pellerin. Yeah. Pellerin. Yep. Okay. Thomas Bartleman, Will Squires, and Jeff Dye uh, just missed the national cut. Yeah by eight one hundredths of a second, right? Uh, um, so they were close. And from my understanding, you guys are going to go down to Tennessee this weekend, yeah. uh, the 400 freestyle relay team and Samantha Free as well, right. to do a last chance uh, meet right. to try to qualify. Can you talk a little bit about that and how that works as yeah. far as national qualifying? Yeah, for uh, swimming, you have to meet the qualification time. And uh, you know, as long as you make it, you go to the event. Uh, there's two standards, the A standard and the B standard. Uh, for those viewers at home who you know are unfamiliar with the process, you have to get an A standard to make the meet. But once you are into the meet, you can swim any event you have a B standard in. So those four guys on the reel, they all have B standards. They haven't got an A standard, so they're not going to the meet. And uh, they really attack that that relay in 0.08 seconds. It's hard to measure that. It's faster than a blink of an eye. You know, it's, you know, it's luck. And uh, how it works is we're going to go down to Tennessee on uh, you know, Friday night, they have a meet down there, it's a new pool, it's fast, we're going to actually be swimming against some D1 one schools in competition. As long as we get go that 409, 40, that 304.99 or faster, we can go to Canton, the national meet. And that's a big, that would be a big step for our program, and you know, hopefully we can get that. And Samantha is three tenths off on the backstroke, so you know, we're going to try every, every shot we have at that. I mean, we wish you guys the best of luck down there. We'll keep everybody at home informed and updated on our website um, as soon as we get the results back. Uh, you know, kind of, I guess, recapping the season, um, you know, you guys only lost two people, uh, one on the men's side, one right. on the women's. Um, you got a young team coming up. Uh, you know, we wish you guys the best of luck. It looks like uh, a bright future. Yeah, so. it is. I'm proud of them, each yeah. and every one of them. Yep. So with that being said, uh, my name is Mitch Fastenough for Coach Ziak. Uh, this is Bobcat Coach's Corner.